Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk some more about the Michael addition reaction, focusing on the different types of nucleophiles and which ones prefer 1-2 addition reactions, so normal uh, nucleophilic addition straight to the carbonyl group, and which ones prefer 1-4 conjugate addition. So uh, I mentioned in the previous video when I showed the mechanism that it's the identity of the nucleophile that controls the outcome. And I am going to, in all of my examples, I'm just going to, to pick a Michael uh, acceptor. This is what you would call a compound that reacts with uh, nucleophiles in, in this kind of reaction. Here's my Michael acceptor. So, in each case, I'm going to show a nucleophile that prefers 1-2 addition, and then a corresponding nucleophile that prefers 1-4 addition. I'm going to start with the Grignard reagent. The Grignard reagent prefers 1-2 addition, so Grignard reagents would react with my uh, compound here and you know go straight for the carbonyl group after we would expect and we get the one two addition product product the corresponding lithium dialkyl cuprate or gilman reagents tend to go for the one four position and so the product here instead of having a nucleophilic attack at the carbonyl group, has nucleophilic attack at the beta position. Lithium aluminum hydride. Lithium aluminum hydride is a little bit tricky, but it primarily gives 1-2 reduction, though, though it will give some 1-4 reduction. There is this compound out there called red owl, which is a copyrighted term. Uh, I don't know if I have the ability to put in the copyright character or not. Actually, I, I want registered trademark. I'm not going to get the registered trademark symbol. All right. So this is this is this is a registered trademark. Um, and the structure of of red owl, kind of interesting aluminum hydride compound. Oh. has this like ether groups churning around all over it, sodium. Here's the structure of red owl. Red owl is, an, is a different kind of aluminum hydride reducing agent, and it's going to primarily give reduction at the four position. In the previous video, uh, I showed uh, all nucleophiles. So alkoxide nucleophiles are going to tend to prefer uh, the 1, 2 addition. And it's worth noting that in under basic conditions, this is totally reversible. But thiol and sulfide nucleophiles are going to prefer packing at the 4 position. And then finally, last class compounds, enolate anions prefer to attack at the carbonyl carbon to aldol kind of reactions.
but if that enolate anion is between two carbonyl groups, and there are a wide range of possibilities here, including things, uh, nitriles and other things that are like carbonyl groups, but not quite carbonyl groups. And these kind of enolate nucleophiles prefer to attack at the four position. Here they all here they all are, right? Uh, and if you're looking at these, you might notice that there's kind of a pattern uh, here for what's on the left and what's on the right. The thing on the right are stronger bases. The thing on the right are sort of weaker bases. Um, what's also worth no noting is that the things on the right are considered what we would call hard nucleophiles. And this is a, this hard is a term that means that the charge is, the negative charge is concentrated in a small region. Uh, and the things on the right are what we would consider soft nucleophiles, and that the, the electron density is more uh, spread out or, or diffuse. Uh, it's not a perfect comparison, like the, the, the copper reagents aren't perfectly that way, but it's, it's a good idea. Um, generally, all of the things on the, on the right are weaker bases, uh, and tend to go towards the 1-4 position. Right? So this concludes my uh, sequence of videos on the micro reaction uh, and on the sort of introductory carbonyl condensation reactions. Uh, my next sequence of videos will be talking about combinations of these things and, and, and some pretty powerful synthetic combos that can come out of them. Thank you for watching.